Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Sunny Savita, and in this video, we are going to implement one project that is multilinguistic virtual AI assistant. Yes, guys. So here itself, in this video, we are going to implement it from very scratch, and step by step, I will show you each and every process. So, guys, uh, I am creating a video on top of the generative AI, LLM, natural language processing, data science, machine learning on each and everything. So uh, if you haven't checked with my YouTube channel, please go and check. So uh, my motto is very, very simple. Whatever I have learned and earned. So I just want to share with you, with the community so that everyone can take the benefit. So uh, without wasting time, now let's begin with the project. So first of all, guys, I will give you the complete and detailed introduction of the project. So here what I'm doing, I'm open, uh, I'm going to open my notepad and here step by step, one by one, I will write each and everything. So here the very first thing, what we'll do guys, we'll create the entire infrastructure for the project. Okay, so what is the name of the project guys? So here let me write the name of the project. The name of the project is going to be Multilingual Virtual AI Assistant. Okay, so what is the meaning of it and what I want to do over here? So don't worry, I will let you know over here itself. Uh, so here, first of all, uh, what we want, we want the entire infrastructure, entire infrastructure, STRU, uh, CTRU, right? So entire infrastructure of the project. After that, I uh, will gather the requirement. Whatever requirement is there, we'll gather all the requirement with respect to this particular project. And then, uh, after getting the requirement basically we'll try to create the api okay so first uh we'll do the development so whatever uh like uh whatever uh, uh, like folder and the files which is required so definitely we'll try to write uh those things we'll try to write the entire code over here so here uh we'll write the entire code and after that after writing the code guys what we'll do so after writing the code, we'll create the API so that we can consume this particular project. And then finally, after creating the API guys, what we'll do, we'll perform the test things. Okay, so we'll try to test our project and then uh, we are going to deploy it. Now uh, here, this is the entire step which we need to follow. And here we are going to use LLM, right? Large language model. So uh, we have different, different API like uh, Anthropic, or uh, open ai jimny so for this particular project and we have other open source model as well so here for this particular project i am going to use jimny api so here uh, we are going to use this jimny pro model for this a uh, particular project because uh, like you can consume it uh, freely and you no need to pay anything for this a uh, particular api now uh, let's begin let's start for this a uh, particular project so first of all, what we need to do, so here, uh, we need to open our uh, command prompt. Uh, so here guys, what I did, I opened my command prompt. Now after opening this one, I just need to open my VS code. So here in at this particular location itself, I'm going to create one folder. So here, let me create a folder. My folder name is what? Multilingual virtual AI assistant. Okay, so this is the project name. Now, uh, guys, uh, you must be thinking that what is the meaning of it? Multilingual virtual AI assistant. So don't worry, I will let you know that. First of all, let me create this uh, folder. So here I did it basically. Now let me change the directory. So here simply I'm writing multilingual uh, virtual AI assistant. So this is my folder. Now I'm inside this particular folder here you can see. And here from here itself, I'm going to launch my uh vs code so for launching the vs code uh here i just need to write this code code dot code space space dot and i will be able to open my vs code so here guys you can see i open my vs code and now here i am going to perform each and every step here i am going to do my entire development okay so first of all guys what you need to do here so step by step one by one i will show you each and everything but let's try to understand the problem statement so for explaining the problem statement, let me open my blackboard and here itself, basically, I can show you each and everything step by step. Now let's try to understand about the problem statement. So what we are going to do here. So first of all, guys, 
here see uh let's say this is what this is my llm okay now this is what this is my uh llm now to this particular llm what you are passing you are passing input right so you are passing input in a different different way so here you can pass the input in the form of images in the form of text in the form of audio okay so what i'm doing here so here uh let's say if i'm writing image so definitely i can pass the image i can pass the text as well and here along with that i can pass the audio now uh simply uh it's going to process each and everything so this is what this is my llm and according to that it's going to generate the output now uh this llm this large language model whether it's gpt jimny or cloud or uh, mistral they don't know about text images audio they just know about the numbers so each and everything is going to convert into the embedding and from there actually it's going to generate the respective output so maybe it might be like image text it might be image okay it might be audio right so yes i think you know about this input and output process with respect to this llm now here guys uh we know uh, the behavior of this llm now right? now uh in today's era actually we have those type of those type of llm which can process text image audio and which can generate text image and audio with respect to the input now here what we are going to do so here we are going to create a work one virtual assistant right so first of all let me draw something over here so here just forget about this llm it is just for the overview now coming to the point so here what is this so this is what this is my virtual assistant now this virtual assistant let's say uh, this is a human and uh, here you can imagine this as a human as of now so this is what this is a human okay now uh, this virtual assistant actually what it is trying to do so let me draw the eyes also and here is a smile okay so this human or okay so uh, you can think this is nothing this is my virtual assistant this uh, uh like this is the ai virtual assistant which is taking which is taking input right so which is taking input as a audio and which is going to generate the output as a audio okay so this is my problem statement now over here i can simply write so what i'm passing over here guys tell me here actually i'm passing audio and here i will be generating the audio now this is what this human is nothing it's my virtual okay virtual virtual ai 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 assistant okay assistant now uh how we are going to perform this particular thing so here as a human uh which model we are going to use right and for creating this virtual assistant what all thing is required what all method what all package okay what all dependency so each and everything we are going to discuss over here getting my point guys yes or no so here we are passing the audio and we are generating the audio and this human this human this project right this assistant is nothing it's my virtual ai assistant so if i'm saying ai guys so definitely i'm going to use any ai model over here i'm going to use any llm model over here in the starting of the session i told you that we are going to use a jimny over here now how we'll do that how we'll create the entire system you will get to know and this ai assistant guys it's a, a pretty clever so it uh understand about the hindi it understand about the english it understand about the other languages as well okay so multiple languages that's why i'm saying it's a multilingual virtual ai assistant so if you don't know that definitely according to that you can change the llm and that thing i will uh like tell you later on so uh here guys i think uh, this a uh, problem statement is clear to all of you now let's begin let's start let's start to create uh, this a uh, particular application okay so first of all what you need to do here so first of all guys you need to create a one uh folder so here uh, guys the folder name is going to be src so here uh, or uh, what you can do i'm not going to create any sort of a folder manually simply i can write over here template right uh template dot py because i can create my template and with that particular template actually i can create okay i can create the multiple files each and every line of code i can simply write it down over here itself so this is going to my file it's not going to my folder so simply i can write over here template dot py now uh after that guys what i will do so here um this uh environment will be required okay 
virtual environment basically because this is the specific project i don't want to use the previous environment over here so for this particular project for this specific project i am going to create one virtual environment also so here i am opening my new terminal and over the terminal itself i am going to open my git bash you can use command prompt git bash anything it's up to you right so what i will do now so here actually uh i will be using the anaconda uh in backend actually i'm using the anaconda for managing this project so if you don't know about it you can go and check with my previous video but don't worry i will create soon i will create one video for the end-to-end -end ai development right so for the for uh, setting up uh, for setting the environment and all for the end-to-end -end ai development soon you will get that video on my youtube channel so that uh your uh, hustle uh, with respect to this environment creation or like uh, folder building github setup and all each and everything will be uh each and everything will be gone so here what i'm going to do so here i'm going to activate my base environment because from there itself i'm going to create my virtual environment so see guys my activated my base environment and it is by default from the anaconda now let me clear this screen and simply i'm writing over here source uh sorry simply i'm writing over here conda create okay conda create hyphen p and here my virtual environment name env and here i'm going to use python version is equal to 3.8 and hyphen y right so this is what guys this is my virtual environment i'm creating over here now uh, left hand side you will find out i have created this virtual environment that is env now uh, what i will do so i will be writing this a uh, template of py so i written some sort of a code guys i'm just going to show you this particular code right so just give me a second let me copy and paste this code and here a line by line step by step basically i can explain you so uh this is my template.py now here what i'm going to do so step by step line by line i'm going to explain you this particular code so the first thing and uh, just wait let me open my epic of pen so that i can highlight the thing in between whatever is coming so uh, here you will find out uh, just a second okay oh uh, perfect now here what i am going to do so here guys see uh i will be required this src folder this is la, this is the list of the files and folder src folder and inside this one you will find out this init.py then src helper.py okay inside this src folder itself then env file for keeping my uh, environment key and all it's a, a kind of uh, portable environment uh, for keeping the portable environment variable then this is what requirement.txt that's setup.py now here app.py now inside this research folder i have my ipyng file so if i want to make any sort of a research and all i can make it from here okay from this ipyng file now uh here if you will look into the further code you will get that so what we are doing over here so we are just taking a path okay and we are going to segregate this directory means folder and the file name now here what we are doing if directory is not empty okay if directory is not empty in that case uh if directory doesn't exist so here what i'm saying if directory doesn't exist in that case we are going to create it as successfully we are giving the message successfully we are logging a message that yes directory now we have created a directory if directory doesn't exist okay then only we have to create it simple if else, if else condition nothing else now here we are saying if file part doesn't exist or if we don't have anything inside the file means if file is blank or if file part doesn't exist so in that in that case also uh, in this case we have to create a file if this condition is not, not going to be satisfied so we are simply saying that file is there file exists nothing else guys simple python code once you will execute it definitely you will get it okay now this is the os module this is the path module this is the logging module now path module for what tell me so path module so here or just for the compatibility so here i am running my code on my windows system but maybe you are going to run your code on the linux system or maybe mac system so here yeah, let me show you so if you will go and check uh, with this particular terminal so on the this is the linux terminal okay batch terminal so you will find out this uh backward slash but if you will go and check with the command prompt which is a windows uh, terminal so here you will you will find out the uh here you will find out the forward slash so this is the difference and this difference actually it's going to be fulfilled by this path path library automatically it will convert according to the operating system fine so now let's try to run this particular file so here what i'm going to do after creating this environment 
now or let me activate this particular environment so for activating this environment guys simply i just need to write over here source activate dot slash env okay so here you can see i am able to activate the file uh, sorry i am able to activate this environment this virtual environment you can see this one inside the bracket now uh, here i am just going to execute my file python template.py now once i will run it guys so here you can see my entire infrastructure of this particular project so the first point which i told you that we need to create an infrastructure so yes i did it over here i created now uh, the other thing so the next thing basically what i'm going to do here so here we are going to keep the requirement right because here the requirement is pretty much required thing so i'm going to keep all the requirement now here i already written this requirement step by step uh, one by one basically i'm going to copy and paste or, or let me copy and paste i think that would be great so the first requirement is what the first requirement is speech recognition so this module will be required this is speech recognition module then pip win okay then pi audio then gtts google uh, text to speech then google generative ai for getting the uh, for uh, like uh, getting that particular model that uh, jimny pro model then python.env for this uh, for uh, fetching the uh, environment variable from this .env then streamlit because at the end we are going to serve up serve uh, we are going to serve the application in the form of api and for that this streamlit will be required so these are the library guys which is required over here now here i am going to write this hyphen e dot also so hyphen e means executable okay you need to execute so here i am giving the instruction to my system that you need to execute something now what you need to execute so you need to execute those folder which is having this init.py file and what you need to execute here and after executing what we are doing so here we need to execute it okay we need to execute it we need to execute from the current directory wherever in wherever folder we have this init file means we are going to in this is what wherever i have this init file now so this folder actually i am going to consider as a uh, local package so this is what this is my global package means which is available on the pypy repository but here this is my local package this package also i am going to install inside my current virtual environment and for that this hyphen e dot required okay for installing the current package current directory package local package into my current virtual environment fine right okay now uh, here uh, this hyphen is required now here guys what i will do so inside this setup.py so whenever we are going to uh whenever we are going to run this one now uh require.txt and whenever this hyphen e dot is going to be executed so in the back end it's going to call this setup.py file now let me show you what all thing is there so inside uh what all thing i have to mention inside this setup.py so here simply i can uh like uh mention the parameter inside the setup the first thing the very first thing we need to write the project name okay so here simply i can write gen ai project so simply this is nothing this is gen ai project now the next thing is what so here the next thing i can mention uh there is a version of the project so simply i can mention the version of the project 0.0.1 this is the first version of the project okay now uh after that what i need to do here so here actually we are going to read the author name okay so here who is going to be author the author is going to be sunny sunny savita you can write your own name so here i can write sunny savita right then after after this author name so i need to mention the author mail id so it's just like a uh, metadata of with respect to the package this local package nothing else okay no need to worry about it so here what we are going to do we are going to uh, mention this author email also so author email now let me write my email so here i can write my email id now after that this one guys we will be required this packages so this is going to be an important one uh packages okay so let me mention this packages and here actually we need to run uh sorry we need to call this particular method find package so let me call this method that is going to be find package so i hope this is perfect this is clear to all of you now i can keep it like this and here i hope everything is perfect so this is the thing guys which is required over here now i'm going to be close it okay so in backend actually it's going to call the setup.py file as nothing just the metadata of this local package okay where my uh, init file is available and inside that my helper files is file is also available okay so uh why we are doing it so that we can import this src 
uh, folder or we can import this helper file from anywhere okay from anywhere inside this particular project that's it now uh what we are doing here so here guys you can see uh we have created this uh, setter.py file now let me install all the requirement over here so for installing the requirement pip install hyphen r requirement dot txt okay so requirement of txt now here you can see my in, uh, requirement is getting installed so here you can see it is saying something let me check what we are getting over here so setup dot py setup dot py setup dot py i think here is the setup dot py now in the backend okay requirement dot txt sub process i gain four okay i think we did some mistake over here maybe while we are writing it version 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 uh name jna project setup find packages everything seems perfect right so what is the issue here uh that an invalid version if it is saying invalid version let me write zero 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 let's see now it is going to work or not so here active here and then again pip install i have another kind of txt okay now it is working it was saying zero zero one it's the invalid version so here i written zero 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 and it's going to work okay great uh okay fine so here uh, see now it is getting installed this uh, local package this one and this global package also means all the dependency right now what i need to do here so i need to uh, write the code inside two files first is helper.py and the second is what second is this app.py and in between guys what i'm going to do i'm going to mention my uh google api key as well so here what i'm going to do so here actually i am going to copy and paste my google api key as well so this is my google api key now how we can generate this api key so until this is getting installed let me show you from where you can generate this api key so you just need to go through with your uh, browser and after opening this browser okay so here after opening this browser guys what you need to do so let me show you so simply you need to search about the Jimny, right so here you can see Jimny. now what we will do here so after searching about the Jimny, uh okay so this is the chatbot guys which is not required here we require this a uh, particular website let me show you this one deep mind so wherever you will find out google deep mind you require that particular website now what you need to do here so after opening this one so just wait it is getting open mm, it's taking some time <laughs> okay let me check my requirement has installed or not okay it is getting installed until i can generate the api key i can show you basically so just click on this build with jimny and there you need to click on this ai google.dev so once you will do that once you will click on it so directly you will be redirecting to the uh ai for developer okay so this google ai studio now here you will find out two things one is a doc and the second is the api key okay get api key in the google ai studio just click on it and here you will be find the option for generating the api key so from here directly you can generate the api key see get api key i already uh, did it so here i am not going to generate it see this is my api key once you will cl click on this create api key you just need to select the project if you have created already i created already so i can select this project and then i can generate the api key but if you haven't created any sort of a project it will give you the option for creating the project okay now guys see uh here uh i hope now everything is perfect api key and let me check with my project as well so yes now it is installing and let me check whether it's installed or not so still it is installing okay great no issue but i think you got to know how to generate the api key now here guys uh, if you will look into this particular uh, youtube so this is the free code camp and where my uh, generative ai end to end course published okay so here you will find out the generative ai full course you can go and check along with the jimny pro open ai llama langchain pinecone vector database each and everything actually we try to cover over here so here you can check with this particular course on this free code camp uh, so yeah now uh i hope this is perfect this is fine so let me check whether everything is installed or not so yes now it is perfect let me clear over here 
and uh, my I got my API key and here is my helper and app.py now let's try to create the method and uh, let's try to write the different different function key so first I'm going to start with this helper.py so uh, let me uh, give you the method that what all method basically which is required but before that let me write the import statement so here I am pasting the import statement the first statement which is required that is speech recognition okay so speech recognition as uh, as are now here uh, this one right google generative ai so here i am writing this gen ai so the gen ai will be required and this one now here this from dot env okay uh, import load dot env now guys here what i can do i can check the python version of this particular project because here i can see the python version is 3.8 and uh, okay, I forgot to tell you guys. Uh, just now I remember this thing. So if I am going to check with this Google Gen AI, so what I can do here, I can search about this Google Gen AI and PyPy. Now here you will find out this thing. So uh, here you will find out that uh, this uh, Google Gen AI package actually it does not support to the Python 3.8. Okay i forgot to tell you that so whenever uh python will be required so it will be more than 3.8 the version should be or the version must be more than 3.8 so here you can see we are using python so here they are using python 3.9 okay 3.9 3.10 3.11 3.12 so python version 3 and in that also python 3.9 itself not 3.8 in my previous session also i told you the same thing so here i did one mistake now let me uh, rectify this mistake let me guys uh, delete this environment and here after deleting this environment guys i am going to create one more uh, time with python 3.9 okay so just wait guys let me do it and i will come back wait so here guys you can see what i did i created the environment by using python 3.9 and i installed my requirement.txt so uh, if you follow to me from starting and now again you are thinking uh, you will have to create with python 3.9 sorry guys uh, pardon to me because i just forgot to tell you so please create an environment with 3.9 now let me clear it and let me show you perfectly now if you are getting this uh, type of errors and all just try to ignore it nothing else so uh, let me clear it and here i can simply write the python now here you can see python 3.9 okay so let's begin now let's begin with this helper.py where i am going to write where i'm going to mention all the uh, helping function okay all the utility function and then in the app.py i will create the main api so in the uh in this helper.py so we required some sort of a uh, import statement let me uh, show you that so this import statement guys it will be required over here inside this helper by mistake i mentioned over there so first is speech recognition second is for uh, getting the jimny model okay it's a google generative ai then third one is a load env for loading the environment key then os and this is this is the google text to speech okay now here guys uh, we required one more thing so here actually we required this environment key also so let me mention it over here load dot env means we want to load this environment key and here we are uh, loading it means we are get after loading it we are uh, fetching it by using this os module and we are assigning it over here as a temporary variable okay so as a temporary variable we are going to as a temporary environment variable we are going to assign it over here you need to follow this particular step right now here guys you require three methods so the first method is basically voice input because you want to take voice from the person so voice input simply i can mention it over here voice input and then uh simply write a pass over here the third next thing after that you will be required this llm model object right so here uh, let me take one uh uh more method and here actually i'm going to write llm underscore model underscore object or llm model also will be fine so uh, whatever you can write so here we are going to load the llm model and here guys whatever user is going to pass i am going to pass it over here and based on that we are going to generate the output and here for voice input so here also guys will be required one uh will be required one parameter so okay no parameter now i am going to create one more method so here the method name is going to be, let me mention one more method over here the method name is going to be text to speech okay whatever text i will get 
so i'm going to convert into the speech that particular text how we can do that i will let you know so here i will be required the text not in the previous one not in the voice input okay so this three method is required over here guys right now we have to write the functionality each in each and every method now apart from this one let me write uh, some sort of a code inside this app dot p by five also so first of all let me write the import statement okay so here guys just to save the time i'm uh, going to copy and paste this particular uh, import statement because i don't want to like write it down so it will be time consuming i just want to save it and i will give you this entire project you can check it so here guys llm model okay uh, the name is llm model and here uh, you can see rest of the method like voice input and text to speech okay so this thing we are going to import from the src src helper and this is for the streamlet now here guys i'm going to create one method the method name is going to be main and here guys i'm going to call this particular method after writing this pass statement so here i'm writing if name is equal to main and from here i'm going to call this main method now what i have to write inside this main method so each and everything basically we are going to write inside this main method only so first let me write it down the title so from here we are going to copy the title so this is going to my title guys and here we are going to use this extremely but it's your choice you can use anything you can use uh django you can use flask fast api gadio you can use javascript react node anything in whatever tag stack in whatever framework you have expertise you can use that particular thing for creating this api okay now after that guys we require few more things so here uh, we are going to create something okay so here we are going to write one uh, if condition and uh, inside that we are passing button okay along with this if condition i am saying if sc dot button means if it is coming to the button so ask me anything this is the prompt which, which we are going to showcase and here this is spinner is going to be uh like moving okay now after that inside this one i'm going to write a different different functionality so first i will collect the voice input so voice input from where from the person right so because it's a voice to voice assistant like alexa uh like uh, this google assistant or this uh, cortana windows cortana right or uh we have this uh this one uh basically uh like different different voice assistant and all like siri and all okay so uh these type of voices voice assistant we are going to create in a different different in a multiple languages so first guys what we are going to do so here we are going to collect the voice input now uh from the voice input basically whatever i will get i am going to collect inside this text right inside this text now after this one guys what i will do here so after collecting this one this text i will pass to my model so here i'm going to call my model and here what i will do i will pass this a particular text now whatever response i will get from this particular text okay so this response okay this response i am going to pass to which one i'm going to pass to text to speech because i want to showcase the output in the form of speech so simply i'm writing text to speech and this response i'm passing over here that's it nothing else simple functionality now if i want to showcase over the screen if i want to save it uh, in my memory and all okay means in my local uh, system so definitely i can write the code for that also so here is a code guys uh, where i can download it and where i can showcase that thing over the screen as well so here i am going to write the text area so i am going to write the text uh, over here where uh, this is my response this is my value and here is the height means the width uh, and the height of that particular text area then here i am going to be convert this audio into this uh, i am passing uh, like audio bytes okay this one means i am reading the entire audio from here and i am passing to this audio method okay so here uh, we have this particular method audio method and this audio method okay we are passing to this audio method so what will happen actually we'll be able to download it later on so here you can see sc dot audio okay and this audio okay this audio basically so here we are going to showcase over the screen and now i'm going to pass this audio byte to this audio so later on basically we'll be able to download it now how let me show you that and this is the entire functionality for what tell me this is the entire functionality for saving the video that's it nothing else so uh, let me show you how this each and everything is working how this each and everything is happening so before that let me write this helper method helper function because each and everything is going to depend depend on this one only now uh, for the helper so the first method is a voice input so let's take the voice input and what is happening over here let's me write it down each and everything 
so uh, first of all guys here in the voice input so here i am writing sr okay sr dot now sr dot recognizer so here this uh, sr actually means this speech recognition is having one method you can go and check with the documentation or with the pypy repository or with the github also it's open source out of the google only so here it is having one method that is what that is the recognizer now here i am going to create uh, i am going to keep it inside this r now what i will do here so here i am going to uh, from where i will take the input so i will take the input from the microphone itself okay so here i am writing sr dot microphone so here i'm going to call this microphone now or uh, this is going to my source so here i'm writing as a source uh okay let me write it down over here itself now this is going to my source and here i'm writing so here i can write something so here i can write listening okay listening so simply i can uh print this uh, listening over here that's it so you will get to know once i will do that okay once i will run the end application now here uh, you can simply say uh we can collect the audio so here you can say r dot listen okay what we are going to listen you are going to listen this row source so this is what this is my audio okay it is coming over here now what i will do so here guys i have written one try and accept uh basically blog so let me copy and paste over here and with that you will get the clear cut idea that what is happening so here actually inside this try and accept i have mentioned uh so over here what is happening see just just focus so uh, along with this bit actually you need to write so here you can see we are going to recognize uh, this particular audio okay and we are going to convert into the text this audio and here you can see we are going to print simply we are going to print this particular text whatever we are saying that's it then we are going to return this text now where this text is coming tell me so here if you will look into this app.py so here we are going to return this text and it is coming over here this one right now after that so here we are getting this text then if uh, something is not uh, understandable or something like that so we are going to raise this particular exception it's a by default one uh, and this class is this exception class is already available inside the speech recognition module now after that guys we required this llm model now here we are going to use the jimny now how to load the jimny so here let me give you the code for loading the jimny okay so this is the code guys for loading the jimny uh if you don't know about it you can go and check with my previous video i shown you over there so guys here what we are going to do we are going to load the jimny model and please make sure that you are having python 3.9 then only you can run it otherwise it will give you the issue because it does not work with python 3.8 okay so this is the entire code for the jimny here we are going to configure the api key here we have a jimny pro model and here we are going to pass the user text we are going to generate the text and we are going to return it that's it nothing else then we are going to convert this particular text whatever text we are going to generate over here now see where we are passing if you will look over here so we are getting the text we are passing to the llm model okay and we are getting the response from the llm model which is working over here this one this result now this result i want to convert into the speech okay because audio to audio speech to speech right so audio i am getting and audio i will return so here what i'm going to do i'm going to return into the audio so for that we have the simple method uh from the google site so here is the module name is what uh text to google text to speech and here we, it is having uh the method okay save method so we are going to save this particular speech over here so by default it's going to save inside this particular directory but if you want to download it so for that also i return the code over here okay this one uh this particular code this one so here it is going to show you uh over the screen okay and this thing is going to be download right now everything is perfect everything is fine now let's try to execute this a particular project and let's see whether it's going to work or not so simply i need to write it's a streamlit application so here i'm going to write a streamlit app uh a streamlit run app dot py so see guys it's going to be executed now i just need to allow it and here you can see it's amazing one right so i'm able to see now let's try to ask something so first of all let me enable the uh let me enable the speaker so that everyone can hear this one whoever is watching whoever is watching this particular video so if i'm asking something uh can you tell me about generative ai and large language model
it's processing let's see what it will generate I think first time model is taking time. So first time guys definitely model will take time. Uh, we are going to fetch it. Means we are not going to load it, but it's still like I think API calling is taking some time. Maybe we'll check uh second time also. So okay, guys, here we are getting. So here I was talking about the genetive AI and it is generating a response with respect to the genetics. Now see the response. So this is the response basically I was talking about. And here is the audio which I was talking about now. That particular uh see, let me show you. So here is a project now. This one. So here, guys, you can see this is the text, this is the audio which uh, I'm showing you over there, and this is the download button. Now let me show you. So sorry, it wrong wrong it like wrong interpreted the question, but yes, it is able to generate. Now let's see. Genetics, asterisk, asterisk, see, guys. Which are the basic units okay, of great. So let's ask something else. So let's talk about the machine learning. Okay. So can you tell me about machine learning? What is a machine learning? It is generating guys, it is generating, let's see. Can you tell me about machine learning? What is a machine learning? Okay, question is perfect. Question is perfect guys. Let's see the answer as well. Yeah, inferencing is taking time here. Little time. I think uh, we'll have to like reg regulate that uh, output generation and all means uh, like it's uh, is generating the output and all. See guys now. So what is a machine learning and here types of machine learning key component key concepts of machine learning and here application. Okay, perfect guys. Advantage and everything it has generated. Now let's see. What is machine learning? Machine learning (ML) is a subfield of artificial intelligence stock input data. Clusters. Great guys, great, 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 great. Here you can see download and hey, yeah, we can manage the playback speed also. See. Okay, great guys, great, great. And now here, from here, you can download this speech also. So just try to click over here and download the speech. So this is what this is the machine learning, and simply you can download it. Uh, that's it nothing else so yes we have downloaded this as a machine learning now let's ask something in the hindi okay hindi kya kya aap mujhe machine learning ke baare mein bata sakte hain But guys here this is very amazing we can regulate the uh, the output and all everything based on the prompt and uh, like uh, based on that uh, particular token generation and all everything we can regulate but here i shown you the raw one but uh, it is taking time why because it is generating the whole sort of output but we can regulate it we can uh, like uh, make inferencing little more faster okay and i think we know about it how to do that if you don't know Definitely, I will create one more video on top of it. But here, in itself, in this particular project, you can try it. Let's see with this Hindi uh, whether it is able to generate it or not. Okay, guys, perfect, perfect, perfect. Here you can see it's able to generate the Hindi also. Now see, let's see. Machine learning kya hai? Machine learning, okay. machine learning ke 
gazab 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 okay guys great now here you can see it is able to generate in hindi english but you can try with other languages also and you can see like whether my jiminy is able to understand or not if it is not able to understand the other languages you can use a different different model and you can fine tune it also and the simple project with this simple project you can learn so many things and even you can integrate this thing with other uh, project as well it can be the part of your other project uh, and uh, you can uh, do it as your uh, final year project and all and you can uh, create it up to that scale and later on i will show you the deployment also but yes this video is going to be quite long so thank you guys thank you bye bye take care for watching this video now this code will be available inside the github repository and i will mention inside the description so thank you bye bye take care guys